Welcome back to Unfiltered Gamer, another board game review. I'm Jess Darlene, filling in for Just Josh. Today we're going to take a look at Einstein, his amazing life and incomparable science. Einstein is a game for two to four players. It's cooperative and competitive, and it's for 14 years plus. It's a game where you use inspiration to bring Einstein's theories to life. Let's take a closer look. To begin the game, each player will pick one of the Einsteins. There's four different ones to choose one. Once they've chosen one, they will pick the cards, the corresponding inspiration cards, and the idea tokens. On the board game will be 10 major theory cards and will be shuffled and three will be passed out for everyone to see. So here we have a three player setup for Einstein. One, two, three. Once every player has chosen their respective Einstein and gotten their inspiration cards and corresponding idea tokens, the youngest Einstein goes first and you will see a little number by the edge of the card. So right here is the first person. What they will do is they will shuffle their inspiration cards and draw three. The rest will be their draw pile and they will have three cards in their hands and every other player does likewise. So on the first player's turn, they're going to take two tiles um, and lay them down. And they're going to be trying to match up the lines. So for example, these two idea tiles have one line so they must connect and match to at least one side of the tiles. You're going to be trying to complete these inspiration cards. So for example, we're starting to build this one right here. So with our tiles. So you wanna see if you've completed that and then you also wanna look at the major theories to see if you've completed any of these. So for example, there's one that says connect four or more philosophy ideas together and the philosophy ideas are these ones right here. So once the player who is the youngest Einstein is done with their turn, it'll continue on to the next youngest Einstein player. They will also play two of their idea tokens. And again, making sure that they match with the two lines to two lines and the one line to one line. If they haven't completed any of their inspiration cards and they haven't completed any of the great theories, then the play continues on to the last and oldest Einstein player. And this player will also lay down to Then play comes back to you. You also get to have two tokens on this turn. And as you can see, we were able to complete one of our inspiration cards. And we have one more token left. And if we look here, we can lay one of the philosophy ideas down and we can connect four or more philosophy ideas together. So color doesn't matter. So we have one, two, three, four. That means that we get to earn both of these and play continues until the end of the game. So now after looking at a round of play, we can see that Einstein has both a cooperative component and a competitive component. The cooperative component comes from all players using their idea tiles together to build a big idea and a major theory. However, each player is still working independently to earn points. If a player uses all of their idea tiles to complete an inspiration card, they get all of the prestige points. So for example, three for the one gray completed. If however, on their quest to complete inspiration cards, they use other players' tiles, those players get prestige points corresponding to how many tiles were used during that gameplay. The other way a player can earn points is by doing the major theories. However, this only goes to the player who's completed the major theory during their turn. So for example, in our playthrough, Gray connected four philosophy ideas together and got an extra four bonus points. There's three ways that the game can end. When there's only two types of idea tiles left, so two are gone. When one player draws the last inspiration card from their deck or when all of the major theories have been laid out. Now we'll go ahead and tell you what we think in our review. Does Einstein the game prove that Einstein's theory of relativity is correct? Well, gameplay lasts about 15 to 30 minutes, but it feels like two minutes of fun. The fun just never stops. Some of the things I really liked is Einstein. I love Einstein. I have pillows, I have books, I have paintings of Einstein, so I really enjoyed playing a game with my personal physics hero. The other parts that I liked are that it played just as well for a two-player game as a three-player game. It was exciting and it's hard to find good two-player games, but this one delivered. With the three-player game, there was more of a chance to foil uh, the player 
going because you'd kind of have your next move, but you'd have two people there and you'd have to basically be a little more flexible in your gameplay. Um, I also really liked that there was multiple ways to score. So you had the major theory cards that you could get. You got points from your neighbor using your idea tiles and then you yourself by doing inspiration cards. Another really great part of this game was the fact that there was multiple ways to end. So you can use some strategy there thinking, do you want to end the game sooner or do you want to kind of pull back to earn some more points? Um, some of the more challenging aspects of the game definitely were analysis paralysis because you're trying to earn the most points, even though you're collaborating to build this big idea, you need to give downtime to players for a little bit, a couple minutes just to think through their strategy, but it does allow you to strategize a little bit and the other aspect is when you're building the figures, you really need to make sure that you're building them correctly. Sometimes it's easy for players to flip it. My overall thoughts is I love this game. I've also played another game by Genius Games, Periodic, and I loved both of them. This is definitely going in my game shelf. Um, if you're interested, take a look in the link below. Thanks for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you enjoyed uh, this game review, like, subscribe, and comment below. Also check out our website at unfilteredgamer.com. We also do live streams on Facebook every Wednesday. This is Wise Einstein and Darlene saying see you next time.